Hello and welcome to Columbia's Dairy Focus. With the spring breeding season now in full swing and nearly every herd having started the second round of AI, the focus on farms has really shifted from where it was a few weeks ago. But even though the calving season might already be a distant memory for you, there is one more job that I think we should all be doing to finish off the spring 2022 calving season. And that is thoroughly cleaning out the calving pens and the calf housing once the youngest of the calves have vacated it. Now, cleaning of those areas to me means potentially dismantling some gates and barriers, but certainly for every herd it means removing all the organic material. And that includes all the bedding, be it straw bedding, be it wood chip, whatever you're using, it all has to be removed. After that, you need to go in with the power hose and really wash the floors, the walls, the gates, the drinkers, the feeders, everything. But it doesn't stop with the washing. After that, you need to go in and disinfect. Now, for most herds, your general bog standard disinfectant will work. But in those herds that had trouble with cryptosporidium or coccidiosis scour in the calf housing, they should use specific disinfectants that are designed to kill those parasites. So something like a Cyclex product, for example. And again, when you're disinfecting, make sure you cover walls, floors, gates, feeders, everything that animals can touch. After that, you have plenty of time to let it dry ahead of the next calving season, be it autumn calving or be it next year's spring calving. Now, Let's hear from our senior milk quality manager, Feluna Malone. She has some very timely thermoduric callouts for the month of May. May is usually a time where it's getting a little bit warmer, not that you'd think it today. And there's a couple of watch outs to consider for thermodurics at this time of the year. The key ones to focus on are, first of all, check your liners. See, are you up to your 2000 milkings? If you are, it's time to change. Any cracks within your liners will give a huge opportunity for, for bacteria to take hold. The second one to have a look at is your vacuum line. A lot of the problems that we find for thermodurics, we find it in the vacuum line at this side of the year. So go and have a look at it. If you're not confident to do it, get your service technician to do it for you and to show you how to do it for the next time. Have a look, get into the habit of actually checking it every two weeks and that'll make sure that you get no buildup over the summer. The third one to do is have a look at your plate cooler. Don't go opening your plate cooler. Again, your service technician is best place to do that. But what you can do is you can just ask your service technician to keep an eye on it for you. But most importantly, start to make sure that you're using a filter for all your washing. If you take your filter out before you do the wash cycle, you're going to get lots of buildup within your plate cooler, cooler over the summer. The other things to do are just check that you're using your routine right, especially during silage season. It's getting really busy on farm and it's really hard to stay on top of it. Just getting everything done is not always possible. So what you need to do is just make sure that you are doing your routine as regularly as possible. And if you miss something, go back and just make sure that you've really done a big clean on the machine the next time. The last one for me is to put paracetic acid into your wash routine. That's your add-on at the end. It's the final step, but that'll really help sterilize a clean machine and a clean ball tank at the end of the day. These top five tips are available on Glombia Connect and stay tune in in June and we'll have the top five tips for June. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. If you want any more information on the topics covered in this episode, please talk to your local Glambia representative or log on to glambiaconnect.com.